Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. You probably haven't seen me before. You're probably just looking for Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 reviews. Uh, this video is going to be a negative one. This is all my opinion, but I don't think you should buy the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0. I'm going to give you three reasons why you shouldn't. I'm going to give you an alternate trimmer that's like miles better than this trimmer in the same exact price point. I don't make these Manscaped videos very often, so don't feel the need to subscribe. Uh, I, this channel is all about beards, so it loosely correlates. So if you have a beard, you can subscribe, but I'm not that YouTuber to tell you you need to subscribe and smash the like button or whatever. You can hit the like button at the end if you felt like it was a good video. But yeah, this video is going to be about the Lawnmower 5.0, three reasons why you shouldn't buy it. Uh, the alternate trimmer I would suggest is this Brio Beardscape V2. Too. Um, in my opinion, this is just miles and miles better than this trimmer. I mean, in so many ways. I'm going to link both down below. There'll be affiliate links. So if you want to click them, you can. If you don't, you can just Google the name of the product and find it that way. Although the Amazon, I'm going to use an Amazon link for this because I feel like it's important to buy on Amazon versus on their website. And that gets me into reason number one why you shouldn't be buying the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 or any Manscaped product in general. So on the Manscaped website, you're gonna see the ad for this Lawnmower 5.0. It's gonna say 9% off. It was $109, now it's $99. And you get a peak hygiene plan with it and you're like, oh, heck yeah, sign me up. What you don't see is the little tiny fine print that they intentionally make it really small that says every three months they're going to bill you like $20 every three months for in, per in perpetuity. So after a year of owning this, you've paid almost double the price of it just because you inadvertently thought you were saving $10 by s signing up for the peak hygiene plan and not clicking the also really small option down below for the, 90, the $109 option, which is just a trimmer. So if you really wanted to buy this, I would just buy it on Amazon to eliminate any possibilities of getting signed up for a 20 month, $20 recurring fee every three months. And also the there's only a 90 day warranty on this, which is kind of indicative of how much they believe in the quality of this product to me. Um, whereas this Brio Beardscape V2 is like a two year warranty. Um, I, I, I think that the main problem with Manscaped is a lot of their dollars go into advertising and not product innovation or like quality control or building better internals or better trimmers. Also in Manscaped's defense, I think that culturally what they've done for the culture is great. So supporting and promoting like cleanliness down there is kind of a newer thing. It's not really a mainstream thing until recently. And that's a really good thing to be clean down there. And Manscaped has done a great job promoting that. So kudos to them for that. But let's get into the second reason why you should not buy this trimmer. Um, basically, this is just a lawnmower 4.0 with a foil shaver attachment right here. Um, and, and it's unique in, the, in that it's not very good. So here Here's the trimmer, right? Comes with this guard preloaded onto it. You can pop the head off of this like that. Seems a little scary, doesn't sound too well built, but you can now slap this on. And let me kind of give you a closer look at this. This is a foil shaver that's meant to go after you've like trimmed apparently, or doing it at the same time, according to these two blades right here. Now the concept of using a foil shaver down there is kind of cool, but it presents some risks as well. Number one, bacterial infection. Um, cleaning this out, you, you have to clean your trimmers out. When you have something like this that you're using in your groin area, you need to make sure it's clean. And this is gonna be a nightmare to clean. It's, it's a water, waterproof trimmer, but it doesn't it doesn't make this that much easier to clean. This is gonna be a really hard time to clean and to get disinfected. Also, it has these lateral blades that come out front and back. And imagine digging that around in your groin. Like that's just not a good idea. If this catches a hair or gouges into your skin, I mean, there goes all your protection. Another risk of using something like this on your balls to get a super clean shave versus a, like if you wanted to use a razor or something, is ingrown hairs. These basically at first they might work okay but once they get a little bit duller then they're going to start pulling the hair out instead of trimming it right and even then it still trims pretty low and so if you have curly hair down there it's going to increase the risk of getting an ingrown hair so in essence this foil shaver which is like the one to me main unique thing about this different than like the lawnmower 4.0 it's not it's something you shouldn't be using for your groin area so you can just toss that out no need for that. So without that head, to me, essentially, you're left with basically a lawnmower 4.0, which is only $89 instead of the $109. I'll link the lawnmower 4.0 down below. I'll make it an Amazon affiliate link. But the only thing different would be like this little diffusion panel they put over the light. There's a dual temperature light. I don't know what for. It seems gimmicky to me. Um, it has a travel lock, which should be on pretty much every trimmer. And this costs $109. This trimmer costs cost the same price, $109, but this trimmer is miles and miles better. This gives you, I think, like a 60 minute runtime. This, give this gives you three hours runtime. Now, when you're looking at a rechargeable battery and you're looking at like an hour versus three hours, the main difference is that like, you can charge this like once a year. <laughs> Whereas this, you might have to charge every couple months. This is the trimmer I'm talking about, the Brio Beards KV2. It has this nice, full color display right here. It's really, really cool. It even like when you adjust this, it has this manual guard control at the top. 
that opens this guard up and closes it like that. Open, close, it'll beep and it'll read out on the screen. It goes from 1.9, 1.6, 1.0, 1 1.3. There's a lot of cool features on this. You get an adjustable RPM, so you can turn it on, you can turn it down and get even more battery time out of it. You can turn it back up and get less battery time, but more power. It gives you a lot of options. It's built really well. It feels hefty in the hand. This feels, I don't know, it wouldn't be horrible to maneuver with, um, but it's not grippy. It has these slick sides on it. There's no grip where on the Brio, you get this nice hexagonal rubber uh, grip here on the sides, which is great. Also, the cutting width of the blade is vastly different. You can get so much more done with this than with this. This is gonna take you almost double the time to get the same amount of hairs as this would. Brio also sells just a replacement blade that if you, if you want to use a separate blade on your balls and a separate blade on your face and beard and hair, whatever. You can use this to cut hair, beard, you can use it for everything. What they don't try to do is sign you up for every three months a $20 recurring charge to send you a new blade. That's one of the things, like Manscaped puts a decent, like good ceramic blade in here. It shouldn't need to be replaced every three months, like every three years maybe. Like ceramic blades stay sharp for a long time. The third reason you shouldn't buy this Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 is to me the gimmicky stuff, right? Um, they do spend a lot of their money on just advertising and that's kind of their bread and butter instead of putting the money towards making a better trimmer. Whereas this company is able to put this trimmer out for the same price point because they don't spend a lot of money on advertising. So you can get this amazing trimmer at the same price as this kind of mediocre trimmer in my opinion. I don't think this is a good trimmer. So with Manscaped, they use a lot of kind of like catchphrase words like skin safe technology or like waterproof technology. And both of those things seem really off to me. Like what is, what is skin safe technology? It's a blade with a guard on it. Like that's all it is. It's the same as every other trimmer. Skin safe technology from what I can understand is they just move the blade back so it's not a zero gap on the guard there. So that means less skin. If you get a little bit of skin in there, it's not gonna chop it with this blade. So you have like a millimeter of length there. Whereas the Brio also has skin safe technology. Boom, just like that. It actually has more skin safe technology than the Manscaped if I'm assuming that's what skin safe technology means. Other thing, waterproof. People are promoting that you can use this in the shower. And I made a video about the Manscaped 4.0 that did a lot of views. Two of the main criticisms I got were, um, yeah, but it's waterproof. And then are people that stupid they don't know to not click the three month fee thing? Um, and you would be surprised. It's not stupid, it's just the way they designed the web page to make you wanna click that one that's 99 instead of the one that's $109 and a smaller option down below. And the waterproof thing is something you should get right out of your head immediately. If you think that you should be trimming in the shower, especially down there, that's a horrible idea. I said it in the last video that when your hair gets wet, just spit on your arm or something and like see what the hairs do. What they do is they cling to your skin. So it clings to the skin versus standing up when it's dry. So when you're in the shower, all the hairs on your groin are gonna be sticking to your skin and not dry and like out from the skin. So all that's gonna do is just give, make you have to dig in more and try and pull hairs up. It's just gonna be a huge mess. You're putting yourself at a huge risk to be getting cut. If you don't believe me, next time you go see your barber, ask them if you should be trimming wet hair with a trimmer. Uh, they're gonna say no. So yeah, this is $109. This is also $109 bigger, beefier, more features, better battery life, wider blade, much better trimmer than this. And I really wish, I really wish that Manscaped would make a better trimmer because I really believe in the message they're putting out, sure, they're making a lot of money off it, but they're putting out a good message of downstairs cleanliness, which is important. I really appreciate that. But I wish they would put more money into their like development of their trimmers and making a better quality trimmer. I would love nothing more than to, than to come next year or whenever they release the Manscaped 6.0 and come out and say, they actually did a good one. I would promote the heck out of that. I just don't know if that's ever gonna happen. The Brio has always been good to me. I, had, I brought this down here with me. This is the original Brio that I got. This is the very first one, like four, almost maybe five years ago. This thing still runs, still adjusts the RPM, adjusts the blade up and down, works great. Blade still cuts just fine. Battery, battery works still. I've heard a lot of nightmares on like Reddit and stuff about the, these batteries not lasting very long because they're, I, don't I don't know what cells they're using in these, but I think the batteries are maybe just not the greatest quality. I don't know. But the Brio uses a really good battery. So yeah, guys, like I said in the beginning, you don't need to subscribe. This channel's all about beards. If you want to subscribe, if you have a beard, feel free. I just do beard content generally. Also, like I said, if you watched till the end and you liked what I had to say, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Also, comment down below if you uh, what like what your favorite trimmer is for your groin, like what you use. I'm always like wondering like if there's something better than this out there. I mean, there's really high price point like professional trimmers that are gonna cut a little bit better than this. But like, I'm looking at like in the $100 price range, have you guys 
guys know any really good trimmers, I'd love to kind of put them up against this and see if they're better than this. Both trimmers will be linked in the description below. Again, there'll be affiliate links. You don't need to click them if you don't want to. You can if you want to support the channel, uh, but you can also just Google each product. If you're going to buy the Manscaped, buy it on Amazon. Preferably buy the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 if you're going to if you're dead set on getting a Manscaped. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.